Hey, what's up, guys? Listen, new information and in what is going on in the Sean Combs, Diddy, Puffy, whatever you want to call him case, new information. Y'all, Cassie might not be the only one. Y'all. And even though Cassie has filed a civil complaint, we'll get into that, right? It is 35-page bombshell complaint. They are saying that there are other people, so much so that the NYPD has launched a secret investigation looking into all his antics, right? Get this. And those antics involve SA, but it's not limited to that. Y'all, Cassie might have been the woman that literally bought one of the most powerful men in music down. If you guys know, there have been long-standing rumors with Sean Combs, but Cassie has bought everything to light. Now, everything is alleged. <sighs> Sorry, that was the spirit of my ancestors telling me to say alleged, right? Everything is alleged. However, the NYPD has a criminal investigation. If you guys don't know, let me just tell you why this is so shocking. And I did a live last night. You should watch it. It was really good where I went over the whole 35 page complaint, even down to the causes of action. Even though it is a civil complaint, a civil is when another civilian sues you. It's not punishable by jail time. If you're found guilty, you can only be kept compelled, which is to make you do something. You can be compelled to make you stop doing something. Or you can get damages, money, either compensatory, which is the money that you're already out, or punitive, which is to punish you to make sure that you never try that again, okay? Criminal is felony a year and a day or more jail time sentence or up to a year is a misdemeanor. Okay, are you guys on the same page? So even though Cassie was accusing him of grape, right? was accusing him of blank trafficking ring around the rosy multi-state right she said that he literally tra ring around the rosy her right trafficking ring around the rosy yeah that would still only be and she has all his companies attached so she wants to 100 percent make sure that not only does he go down but all the corporations be liable and be hit and maybe even taken down. This is monumental. But I thought it was odd when I was looking at it. I'm like, these are some serious allegations. And I'm surprised that the DA or the U.S. Attorney's Office has not gotten involved. But it looks like they have. But it looks like Puffy even has more to worry about than Cassie. Cassie has one of the best lawyers out there. He is a giant slayer. He bought Harvey Weinstein to his knees. He bought the head of the IMF. Go watch the live. I go into that. Let's get into this. You guys are saying Cassie is not the only one. And there is a secret investigation, but it, it, it involves SA, but that's not it. So they are looking into his business. Let's just get into this. Diddy is the subject of a secret NYPD investigation. And although it's unclear if Cassie made the criminal complaint, there is strong evidence because it involves SA. Law enforcement tells TMZ that there is an open case at NYPD with the name Sean Combs. We're told it is an active case, but the case file has been locked, essentially meaning it's a sensitive case where access is uh, restricted. Now, let me tell you this, right? Because you know I trade in the mess and I love the mess and I think the mess is really funny. I think it's disgusting that TMZ leaked this. The investigation was secret for a reason. If Diddy is not guilty of anything, he has nothing to be ashamed of. He has nothing to be embarrassed. He could actually say that it's her. There's lots of things. That man is a billionaire. Trust me, you don't need to cry for him. His lawyers will go to war. But if this can be believed, Somebody is accusing him of SS and all this stuff. They locked it because it's sensitive. And you have your informants at the N NYPD leak it to let him know that he's being investigated. As reported, Cassie has filed an explosive federal lawsuit, which alleges grape and human. Don't play in traffic, among other things. TMZ has inquired about the case to the NYPD and they responded with the statement. The NYPD takes blank, blank, and 
grape cases extremely seriously and urges anyone who has been a victim to file a police report so that we can perform a comprehensive investigation and offer support and services to survivors. It would seem based on that statement, not only is this a sexual assault case, but the NYPD is actively looking for other alleged victims. They are expanding this because they have reason to believe. And I am now beginning to think, looking back, that we are looking at a lot of victims. If you guys don't know, Kamora Lee just posted and y'all and we and what did she focus? Hold on. She literally just posted. Um, and yeah, and ye shall and you sow, so shall you reap. Let's also not forget that she was one of the main things that she wanted the uh she was trying to get Kim Porter's case to reopen for a while because she suspected some sort of foul play. Now, I'm not saying that's connected, but the fact that she's tweeting, let's also not forget when Misa Hilton Brim went off on him, saying that basically implying that when uh, her son got a, a DUI driving under the influence, that he was actually taking the fall for his father and had switched seats. Again, these are all actors that we don't know. But yeah. You guys, I've been collecting like all this stuff. I've been all over Twitter. I'm going to drop a video later on today with all of the evidence with people placing things together because it gets deep. When people say that they're looking for something, again, it's not limited to SA. People are saying that Kit Cuddy may join the case. He's already testified that everything Cassie said in terms of Puffy threatening to boom his car and then while it was in puffy telling cassie at paris fashion week yeah i'm gonna send a message to him when his friends are over i'm going to kaboom his car in the driveway and cassie was like okay thinking whatever and then his car kaboom that was 10 years ago i remember when it happened and i was like I thought Kit Cuddy was involved in the cartel or something because I was like, how does that just happen? And everybody's acting. You got to think of the level of not just power, if this is true, but also arrogance. But you also have to think about the level of if you were that bold to publicly threaten to kaboom someone's car and then let that thing go boom in the driveway and everybody in the industry knew about it and nobody said anything about it. Not only the type of power you hold, but what do you do with that type of power? And who else, if this can be true, have you victimized? Remember when Kanye was talking about Puffy? And he was like, yo, ain't nothing happening to me. You the feds, man. You the feds. I don't know. I don't know. That's one thing about Gemini's. You don't like the way they deliver it. But are they wrong? Anyway, right? They So the NYPD is now urging other people to come forward and file this is the time if you have knowledge. It would seem based on the statement, not only is this a SA case, but the NYPD is actively looking for alleged victims, other alleged victims. TMZ said they contacted other law enforcement in numerous jurisdictions. Cassie mentions in her complaint, including Miami, Beverly Hills, and Los Angeles. And at every juncture, we got the same reply. No police report has been filed as it pertains to Cassie or Diddy and no investigation has been launched. They did find a 2016 case that TMZ broke where, where TMZ broke the story that Beverly Hills cops were called after a breakup argument of some sort between Diddy and Cassie. A domestic incident report was taken, but no legal action occurred. As reported, Cassie's claimed everything from grape to A and B, a song bag, and even trafficking ring around the rosy. This after allegedly Diddy forced her to basically get trains run on her. And because that could, I want you guys actually to go re watch the live because I am telling you the detail, the news reports are leaving out the goriest parts. It's actually stunning that Kashi can like, anyway, Cassie has said that she uh, forced her to have blank with male blanks across state lines because that could rise to a federal crime. We also checked with federal law enforcement sources, including the U.S. Attorney's Office in Southern District of New York, as well as the FBI. And on both fronts, zip. 
But the thing is, they didn't say that um, there's no the FBI and the, the they don't have to tell you when there's an ongoing investigation unless you are the person. Actually, no, they don't even have to. If it's a grand jury subpoena, they don't even have to tell you it's an ongoing investigation. So whatever. Um, be, uh, Diddy's lawyer has come out strong saying BS on Cassie's lawsuit. He told us most of her claims will be barred from criminal prosecution based on the statute of limitations. Her great claim, however, could still be pursued here in Cali, so time will tell if she files a criminal complaint. Diddy has vehemently denied all of Cassie's allegations and said that she's seeking to shake him down for a big-time cash grab to the tune of $30 million. Cassie's lawyer countered and said, that's all cap. You approached us with an eight figure deal not to press charges and the reason she was able to press charges is because um, there's been two acts one in new york one in california that have reopened any incidents of this for this year you have a year's time to actually they're actually lifting the statute of limitations for a for a year's time so if you ever were the victim of anything and you always wanted to this is the time to do it um as of now, they found one case in New York City where Diddy is in the crosshairs of police. The fact that there's nothing been filed in California, Miami, and all those places, it makes me think and believe the rumors that there are other people. This is an ongoing investigation, and it's not just Cassie allegations. They are literally ripping apart the way he does business, the way he protected himself. I will say one thing, right? When Kanye basically said, Puffy, you think I'm like crazy. You're not getting me. You feds, right? Everybody laughed. But I find it odd. It's just like with Harvey Weinstein, Epstein, all of these people. Um, I find it odd that Puffy was able to get away with all this. And it seemed like he had, go out and read the complaint on the live. It seems like he had hospital workers, doctors, hospitality workers, hotel managers, security it seemed like he had um, club promoters, clubs. It seemed like he had everybody in his pocket, right? Where do you amass that type of power and everybody turn the other way? Unless maybe you do have protection. I don't know. This is just me speculating, of course. But you see what TMZ is saying? You guys, listen, I'm going to put together a comprehensive thing on everything that I have found that makes things look a little iffy, makes things look, you know, just, just, theories that people are putting out and connecting the dots from everything we should have saw. I'm going to put that up later on today. Make sure you hit that um, like button on your way out. Yeah. Things are not looking good for brother love at all. And again, it makes you look at all those rumors that we used to hear. Cassie's saying that at least that part's true. So what else was true? Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.